I welcome all the delegates to the OPEC meeting. So let me just brief you all about what has happened over the years. Between 2010 and 2014, oil prices were soaring around the world as demand rose after the financial crisis, but global production was struggling to keep it. Many older oil fields were stagnating. Conflicts in places like Libya and Iraq were restricting supply. Countries had to draw down their stockpiles and prices soared to around $100 per barrel. It seemed like oil would be expensive forever and we made lots of profit. Those higher prices, however, spurred drillers in the United States to use innovative hydraulic factoring and horizontal drilling techniques to unlock vast quantities of oil. Two years ago, global oil prices plummeted as the world started pumping out far more crude than anyone needed. This price crash from $100 to $40 per barrel completely upended the global economy and we have undergone a lot of loss because of this particular thing. For the last two years, as prices have been falling worldwide, OPEC has mostly stood by and watched and we are unable to reach a decision on how to go about. The most important member, Saudi Arabia, has refused to cut output in 2014 because officials were hoping the resulting price crash would drive large swathes of the U.S. fracturing industry with its high production costs and out of business. But U.S. drillers surprised everyone by finding ways to reduce their costs and limit their losses. U.S. output has only dipped to about 8.5 million barrels per day compared with 9.1 billion uh, uh, BPD last September. As a result, global prices have stayed below. Low prices are blowing a hole through its budget and scaring away our investors. Saudi Arabia has already burned through $150 billion of foreign exchange reserves. It can't let this madness go on forever. And that brings to our final decision, the important part. OPC, OPEC has agreed to set a ceiling on oil output somewhere between 32.5 million and 33 million barrels per day down from the current level, which is 33.5 million barrels per day. If those costs are actually implemented, Iraq, UAE and Saudi Arabia would likely have to, be, uh, to take the biggest hits, according to my analysis. I would request all the delegates to follow uh, my decision and also improvise it as per your convenience. Thank you.